Good morning. Today, I'm setting up a new worm bin. I've already got the bin set up, um, very similar to Jeff Lawton's bathtub worm bin. I'm actually going to be taking a worm bin we have, harvesting the worms from it, splitting them up, put them back into the bin to reload it, and then loading our new bin, a much bigger one. Uh, so I'm going to take you along with my process of doing this. Uh, like I said, we've already got the, the new bin started. Uh, we've got uh, our donkey manure in it. Uh, of course, Jeff Lawton uses a horse manure in uh, the video I'm referring to, if you've seen it, where he uses a bathtub, uh, chicken wire with a shade cloth attached. Uh, this is our bin here. So, I've had this open for a little bit. I'm going to open it up a little more. Uh, as you can see, already our compost has made its way down to here. So we'll be able to harvest our worms, add some more back in here, take the uh, compost as well as the worms that uh, we've harvested, the majority of it, and take it to our new bin and get it going. Start adding some scraps to it and uh, see if we can generate a lot more vermicompost in one shot. That calf is ready for some milk. That's Daisy. She is she is ready for her mama. Let me see her over there. Okay, so we'll go ahead and get this uh I'm gonna get this compost harvested. Okay, got our compost here. Feed our worms. Yeah, we keep this on our counter, kitchen counter. Uh, coffee grounds and filters, uh, any produce scraps. Uh, we do kind of dig things up between the pigs and the chickens and ducks, as well as the worms. And then anything that's not suitable for any of those, uh, go into our regular compost bins. So like I said, this is simple. Open our lid. Dump our crack in. this out turn to the kitchen and we we'll do this every day uh, at least every other day but we always have something we we can get them it may not be as much 
uh, from one day to the next, but we do try to give them a consistent full one of these uh, with this larger bin. Uh, initially, it should be fine, but once our population starts getting bigger, then we may need to increase how much we're giving them. Uh, but certainly to start with, this should put us in good shape.